Well, Stacy Gentleman, man, you're you're an artist extraordinaire. You're just a year out of college almost, and and doing that. now you're doing uh, graphics for two big shows on network television, Sleepy Hollow and Agents of Shields, right? It, it, and they're big network shows. But now what you really like doing is modeling, right? And, and what you need, what you're trying to raise funds for, is get a 3D printer for yourself so you can <laughs> make the stuff on TV or, or make the stuff in your computer to real stuff. But I think what's the neatest thing you have about this is that to people who help you fund for this thing, you make them a uh, a bobblehead doll. <laughs> that's that's terrific. So, what gave you the idea about you know needing a printer? I mean, you do everything in the in the computer already. Why do you need a three D printer? You feel? Um, I want to take all of my digital things and bring them back into reality. Um, ah. I like having the tactile sense of being able to feel it, turn it around in your hands, and actually be able to use it. <laughs> I see. Well, you know, your video on, on Kickstarter, you know, and, and the, the title of it, Make Your Ideas a Reality. But in there, you have a, a video of, it looks like, uh, you know, one of the big video games. I mean, Dungeons and Dragons or, you know, one of these. So you're, you're a talented woman on this, aren't you? Thank you. Yes, uh, that was my master's thesis project, and um, took me about a year and a half to complete. And wow, got me my degree. So, right. <laughs> now you're, so now you're trying to you get out there in the world, and, and I guess you're working for some uh, studios in, in town there. Uh, you're in the L.A. area, right? Yep. And, and then you do extra work on the side, I guess, right? And your yep. art, and you're doing this 24/7. You love doing it, so. <laughs> You're just a young student at this and need some extra money to get that printer so you can do more for people, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I want to bring my art to the masses. Right. Well, I think, you know, even as silly as a bobblehead, but boom, boom, I could see, I mean, like, like to get a friend a gift. I mean, wouldn't it be great? You know, he loves to play football and you get him a, uh, his head on a bobblehead with his favorite team. I mean, what could be a better gift for someone, you know, than something like that? It, is terrific uh, and and all the things you have bracelets that you make with 3d printers too with your name on it so it, you don't have to that's what's so neat about 3d printers you could <laughs> everyone could be different right yep yep <laughs> you can't do that in china <laughs> no you can that's that's the problem with mass production is you can't customize it and make it personal yeah that's and why that's i think all of us you know in america now have a chance to get back into manufacturing because we don't have to sell millions, and nobody wants millions of anything anymore. You know, we all want something special. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that's where I get most of my work. Is someone wants something special for someone really? they love, and really, they like me. <laughs> huh? Like what? What kind of projects would someone give? Um, I'm. I currently have a project where I'm working on miniatures of a couple, so they have their own Dungeons and Dragon game pieces. Um, really? So you're taking, you know, a couple, a man and wife, or two men, or whatever nowadays. Who knows what it is? And, and you're making a model pe pieces for Dungeon and Dragon. Wow, that looks I'm like that. Sculpting their whole bodies, and then yeah. we're going to shrink it down to about this <laughs> big and print it. And then. 3D print it in your home, right? Yep. Wow, that's terrific. And, and are you in other mediums or is it all just computer stuff? Um, no, I do drawing, painting, airbrushing, uh -huh. sculpting, um, basically anything. Um, what is that motorcycle that looks really cool? Oh, your I website. did that um, a few years ago for Harley Davidson. Um, really? They were looking for an artist to airbrush a motorcycle replica that they auctioned off during their 105th anniversary. No um, kidding. All the proceeds went to help the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Wow. So that was a real motorcycle that you airbrushed or whatever? It, it, it was a cast of a motorcycle. Oh, a cast of a motorcycle. Yeah, so it's a, it's a motorcycle statue, and then they sent it to me. It's all fiberglass. Um, I airbrushed it, and then they came wow. and picked it up. Well, that looked, and I know uh, uh, I grew up in Milwaukee, and, and, and that's where you're from, 
And so, and that's where they're from too, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they they brought me right into the manufacturing place. Let me see them get it all ready. Great. Yeah, awesome. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I want. I drive a scooter, and I saw that boy, and I got red. I got question marks on a red scooter, you know, and, and yeah. uh, yellow question marks on. And I said, boy, now that's really cool, you know, that yeah. motorcycle you had. Uh, but more importantly, I mean, to, to people to get. And, and you have other, um, not prizes, but what do you call it <laughs> when you Thank give you your money? Awards, that's it. Yeah. Uh, awards, I mean, the bracelets and other items that people could do to help you. And, and, and I think what's most important about helping is that you're just starting out, you know, in your career, you know, with all this talent just bundled up. People are starting to notice it already. I mean, you're on these big... TV shows already doing this kind of artwork, which is quite spectacular, I would think, uh, for someone you know just starting out like this, and and so all the encouragement in the world you should have, but you're saying you do this no matter what, though. Oh, oh yeah, I love it. The best part of my day is waking up and knowing I have a brand new model to work on. <laughs> When I was a younger man, I used to think of that too, but in a different way. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, but what's cool about it is that you at such a young age found what you really want to do in life, right? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and I'm so, glad I found it because I know a lot of people much older that have no clue. No, 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 I mean, no, to me that's a gift and, and the best gift in life to have. And, and so even in your, you, you're trying on Kickstarter to raise all this money, $15,000, whether you make it or not, you're still happy, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> as, as long as I get to keep doing what I love, I'm ecstatic. Yeah. Well, that's the magic in life, you know, and, and that's what I feel that, you know, you're able to God, I'm so lucky at your age. I mean, when I was your age, I'd get out of school and failing a whole bunch of stuff and and then started having fun. I, and then when I started having fun, man, that's when I started working here. Yeah. <laughs> it's trying to do stuff everybody's telling you else to do. That doesn't work as much sometimes. <laughs> and not worth it, yeah. But you're able, and what's nice about Kickstarter, it's a great place to fail too, right? So what's yeah. the big deal if you don't make it, right? Exactly. Still, if yeah. I don't make it, I don't lose anything, but I do gain a lot of followers. Yeah, you gain so followers, you gain... It's pretty much a win-win. You know, yeah. I may not get the funds, but my work is still out there, yeah. you know? People saw it, you got followers. Like Even me, man, I, I just think it's delightful stuff. I mean, just, you're a very talented woman. I mean, even you, you do model sculptures, you don't like to work in that, but because <laughs> you're allergic to clay or something, but <laughs> the, uh, uh, you have other kind of sculpturing you do besides electronic. Well, Stacy, we had a little electronic trouble here. Trying, <laughs> maybe I thought it was in Milwaukee. I could understand that, but no, you're in California, and the connections must be good. But it's just a delight to talk to you and learn about your life and 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 all you're giving in, in, in your work nowadays. And you're so fortunate at your age to find something you really, really want to do. Your parents must be envious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> that you found something to do uh, that you really love doing, no matter what happens. See, so if it fails, what the hell? You're going to do the same thing anyway. And that's why you keep learning and you get better and you'll be so good by this and another, you know, who knows, few days. <laughs> and so to, uh, to find your stuff and to watch those videos on, on Kickstarter, go to Stacy Jenneman, S T A C Y J E N N E M A N dot com, right? Yep. Right? Yep, that's the <laughs> and see how she can make you a bobblehead doll <laughs> for your wife, your ex wife, anybody you want. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> well, thank you very much, Stacy, and good luck to you. Talk to you soon, and see you on Agents of Shield and Sleepy Hollow too. Oh, that's yep. cool. that's really cool. Much. Yeah, <laughs> take care. Yeah. Bye.